Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Question, have you ever wanted to tell God to his face that your life sucks? I'm sure you have. Some of you wouldn't dare. And, and then some of you just don't care. You say whatever comes to your mind. Well, let me share this with you. It may seem like you've been given the crappy end of the stick. And I'm saying that ever so nicely, yes. But what I want you to think about is, number one, you can get up out of your bed. You can dress yourself. You can put your mind to making one foot go in front of the other. That equals walking. You can go wherever your mind tells you to go. You can make decisions. You can put a cup of water to your mouth and drink. You can chew ice if you choose to. You can feed yourself. You can go to a job that you love, a job that you hate, or a job you could care less about, but you can go. You can use that check that you get from that job to pay your bills, and you can stay in your apartment. You can stay in your house. You can keep your car. You can buy clothes. You can do whatever with your money. Now, you may not have all you want, but you got enough to make it, right? Well, what I want to say to you is what makes your life suck? Let's think about that for a few seconds. Why does life suck? Is it from choices you've made or from things you chose not to do? Hmm. Okay. Now, now let's see who gets the blame. God, you, or God, or is it them, or him, or her, who gets the blame for what sucks in your life? Think about that. Does it really suck? Really now, think about it. Because see, sometimes what we do is focus in on the negative. I could look at myself and say, hmm, Why don't I have a Rolls Royce by now? Why don't I live in a mansion? Why don't I have $10 million to just blow any way I want? I mean, I could go on and on at infinitum. But see, all that stuff doesn't matter. It's what I do have, what I have received, what has happened in my life. And let me tell you, we're back to attitude. Your attitude determines your altitude. If your attitude sucks, your life is going to suck whether you have $10 or $10 million. Your life is going to suck. That's on you. It's your attitude. It's how you see life. Do you see the cup as half full or half empty? Which way do you see that cup? Do you see your life as blessed or stressed? Think about it now. How are you looking at it? Are you looking at through are you looking at it through warped glasses that are cracked and broken? Or are you looking at it through crystal clear glasses? You know, <laughs> you can it, you know, your life de- is determined by what you focus in on. Now, remember Peter, when he was uh, scared in the boat with the disciples and Jesus was coming and he said, don't, you know, fear not, it's me. And Peter said, well, I tell you what, if it is you, oh, I'm paraphrasing. If it is you, bid me come. You know, it's like, yeah, yeah, I'll make a wager with you. If it's you, you can make me walk on water. If it's not, it ain't you. (laughs) All right. So. Jesus said, come. And Peter climbs out the water. He's the only one with the nerve to even go there. But he did it. And for a short moment, he experienced a miracle. Peter walked on water just like Jesus did. What are you able to do when your mind is in the right place, when your faith is in the right area, and when your perspective is right? Woo! The sky is the limit to what you can do. But what did Peter do? 
He focused, changed his focus. The whole time he was walking on water, where were his eyes? Beamed on Jesus Christ. But as soon as his eyes left his Lord and he started paying attention to the negative, he paid attention to the threats. He paid attention to the fear, the welling up of the waves, the the, the rumbling of the water, and he got scared because his focus was no longer on the one who created all of this, who was in control. Now, because he focused on the weather, on the elements, he started thinking of the elements as being in control. Your circumstance is not what determines your life. It's how you look at it. Now, thank God, Peter had the sense, the mind to ask God, to ask Jesus to help him, right? Lord, save me. And poor Jesus, he was, you know, so exasperated. He said, look, you experienced a miracle and then you doubt it? Okay, come on, you have little faith. And he pulls him up and he's safe. He's back on water, climbing back in the boat. Now, what, what I want to ask you is, when you focus in on the negative, do you ask God to save you? Or do you take it a step further than Peter and blame God for the waves, the wind, the swell, the fear that you're feeling, the intimidation of the elements? Do you blame God for the storm? Or do you ask God in the storm to save you? How are you looking at your life? Because I'm telling you, that expression, that proverb, which is not a biblical proverb, but this is a street proverb and it is so true. Truth is true no matter where it comes from. The proverb is your attitude determines your altitude. Peter at least corrected his attitude by aiming back at Jesus Christ, not blaming him for sinking and getting wet and almost drowning. No, he called out to the very one who got him the miracle in the first place. Some of you, listen, I'm getting this right now. Some of you are right in the middle of a miracle. You're walking on water. You're doing things. You're accomplishing things that are impossible. That are just, there's no way you could do this. You know this is a God thing. But what you're doing is you're changing your focus. Get your focus back on God real quick. No matter what's coming against you, keep your focus on God. You're in the middle of a miracle. Stay there. Maintain. Climb. And maintain, like they tell pilots to do when they rise above a storm. Don't get caught in the storm. Rise above that storm. Focus on God and maintain your miracle. Don't allow that storm to take your eyes off of God. Blame God, God and crash. In the middle of a miracle, don't do that. Don't let your attitude bring you down. I just got that one. Didn't even know I was going to go there. Don't let your attitude bring you down from a miracle that you're right in the middle of right now. God bless you.